Hello. Please, like, share, and subscribe. And please activate the notification for the videos. It would help out the channel greatly. Thank you and enjoy the story. In the heart of Siberia, where the merciless winter reigns supreme, a forgotten Soviet research facility lay dormant. Dr. Natalia Ivanova, a renowned scientist specializing in the arcane and the unexplained, had been lured to this forsaken place. By her side stood Dr. Mikhail Petrov, a man of unwavering skepticism who had begrudgingly joined her on this journey. To ensure their safety, Captain Alexei Voronin, a hardened officer, led a squad of soldiers assigned to protect the researchers. Among them was Sergeant Viktor Kuznetsov, a loyal and stoic soldier who had faced the brutal cold of Siberia many times before. The others, PVT, Andrei Novikov, PVT, Anton Volkov and PVT, Yelena Romanova were young and inexperienced, yet eager to prove themselves. The facility, cloaked in an eternal shroud of snow and darkness, appeared ominous from the moment they arrived. The wind howled through the skeletal trees that surrounded the compound, creating an eerie chorus that sent shivers down their spines. This was Siberia, where time seemed frozen in perpetual winter and the boundaries between reality and the unknown blurred with every passing moment. As the first night descended upon them, the team gathered in the dimly lit common area, seeking solace in the feeble glow of a lantern. The frigid air seeped through the cracks in the facility's walls, leaving an oppressive chill in its wake. It was Captain Voronin who first acknowledged the unnerving atmosphere his sharp eyes darting around the room as if searching for hidden threats. Dr. Natalia Ivanova, normally a paragon of scientific rationality, was unable to suppress the growing unease that gnawed at her. Her curiosity had brought her here. But as she glanced at the ominous shadows flickering across the walls, she wondered if her pursuit of the unknown had led her into a deadly trap. The room was enveloped in an oppressive silence, punctuated only by the howling of the wind outside. PVT, Andrei Novikov, young and impressionable, broke the quiet with a shaky voice. Did you hear that, Captain? It sounded like footsteps upstairs. His eyes darted towards the creaking wooden staircase leading to the upper floor, where darkness loomed like a malevolent specter. Captain Veronin's gaze remained fixed on the staircase as he responded, his voice a low, measured growl. It's just the old wood settling. Novikov. Nothing to worry about. He tried to instill a sense of calm, but the tension in the room was palpable. Dr. Mikhail Petrov, known for his skepticism, chimed in. These old buildings can play tricks on the mind, private. Our imaginations often conjure threats where there are none. His rationality provided a fleeting sense of comfort, but the ominous atmosphere refused to dissipate. It was then that the lantern's flame flickered, casting disconcerting shadows on the walls. Pivotai, Anton Volkov swallowed hard, his eyes darting nervously between his companions. Captain, I'm not so sure about this place. There's something off about it. The silence returned, heavy and foreboding. Peavity, Elena Romanova clutched her rifle tightly, her knuckles turning white as she whispered, I don't like it here, Captain. It feels like we're being watched. Just as Captain Voronin was about to reassure his team once more, the temperature in the room plummeted abruptly. Frost began to form on the windows creeping inexorably across the glass like ghostly fingers. The lantern's flame sputtered, struggling to ward off the encroaching darkness. Dr. Natalia Ivanova's eyes widened in disbelief as she watched her breath form icy clouds in the frigid air. 
The unnatural chill settled in their bones, a malevolent presence that defied all logic. Captain Veronin's stoicism wavered as he muttered, This is not right. Suddenly, the ground beneath them trembled, causing the lantern to sway wildly. It was as if the very foundations of the facility had been shaken by some unseen force. The team exchanged fearful glances, their instincts screaming that they had ventured into a realm beyond their understanding. In that moment, as the wind howled outside and the temperature plunged to unfathomable depths, they realized that the Siberian wilderness held secrets more horrifying than any of them could have imagined. The unknown, lurking in the shadows of the research facility, was awakening, and the night had only just begun its descent into terror. The relentless Siberian winter continued to tighten its icy grip around the forsaken research facility. The team, engulfed by an ever-present sense of dread, sought refuge in the facility's dimly lit common area, the lantern's flickering flame, their only source of comfort, the oppressive chill seemed to penetrate even the deepest recesses of their souls. Dr. Natalia Ivanova, known for her unwavering pursuit of the unexplained, now questioned the wisdom of her endeavor. Beside her, Dr. Mikhail Petrov, once the epitome of skepticism, found himself unable to rationalize the increasingly bizarre occurrences that haunted the facility. Captain Alexei Voronin, typically unyielding in the face of danger, had been reduced to a watchful vigilance, his eyes darting anxiously across the room as though expecting an unseen assailant at any moment. Sergeant Viktor Kuznetsov, his loyal second-in-command, stood steadfast by his side, his every sense attuned to the growing malevolence that seemed to permeate the very walls. PVT, Andrei Novikov's experience on the first night had left an indelible mark on his psyche. His once eager eyes now harbored a shadow of terror, his gaze locked on the creaking wooden staircase that led to the upper floor. Dr. Natalia Ivanova, though shaken, tried to maintain her scientific composure, but her fingers trembled slightly as she made notes in her journal attempting to document the inexplicable. The room fell into a heavy silence, shattered only by the mournful wind that howled outside, a cacophony of despair that seemed to seep through the very cracks in the walls. P.V. Anton Volkov, his youthful optimism all but extinguished, spoke up, his voice quivering with unease. Captain, there's something profoundly wrong about this place. It's not just our imagination. PVT, Yelena Romanova, her gaze fixed on the lantern's wavering flame, added, I can feel it too, Captain. It's as though the very air is suffused with malevolence. Captain Veronin's normally stern expression grew graver as he acknowledged their collective unease. We can't ignore this any longer. Something is happening here, something we can't explain, with logic alone. His words hung in the frigid air, a tacit acknowledgement that they had entered a realm beyond the boundaries of the known. Dr. Mikhail Petrov, though still grappling with the inexplicable, ventured a rational explanation. Perhaps there is a scientific basis for these phenomena. We must approach this with a phenomena. We must approach this with a methodical mindset. His attempt at reassurance fell flat, overshadowed by the growing dread, the lantern's flame seemingly influenced by forces beyond their comprehension. Flickered more violently. Shadows danced on the walls, their movements disjointed and unsettling. Pivit, Anton Volkov, now overwhelmed by fear, clutched his rifle as if it were his sole lifeline. Captain, we should leave this place. It's cursed. The silence that followed was punctuated by an abrupt drop in temperature. Frost crept over the windows, 
obscuring the world beyond with crystalline patterns. PVT, Yelena Romanova's breath materialized as a ghostly mist, her eyes wide with terror. Dr. Natalia Ivanova, whose pursuit of the unknown had led them into this nightmarish scenario, could no longer deny the inexplicable nature of their circumstances. Captain, this is beyond science. It's as if we've trespassed into a realm where reason holds no sway. Just as their collective unease reached its zenith, an unsettling tremor coursed through the facility, causing the lantern to sway erratically. The ground beneath them seemed to heave as if some ancient force had stirred in response to their presence. Sergeant Viktor Kuznetsov, a veteran of Siberia's harshest winters, felt his heart pound in his chest. He muttered, Captain, we're not alone here. Something ancient, something malevolent, stirs beneath the very earth. His words hung in the air, a chilling revelation that sent shivers down their spines. In that haunting moment, with the wind's mournful howls echoing in the background, they realized that they had unwittingly awakened a malevolent force that had slumbered for centuries. The night, far from over, held horrors beyond imagination, and their journey into the unknown had only just begun its descent into terror. The oppressive silence of the Siberian wilderness continued to press down on the forsaken research facility. The lantern's feeble flame cast eerie, dancing shadows on the walls, an unsettling testament to the growing malevolence that gripped the team. Dr. Natalia Ivanova, a seeker of the unexplained, now found herself questioning the wisdom of her scientific pursuits. Beside her, Dr. Mikhail Petrov, once the staunch skeptic, was confronted with phenomena that defied all rationality. Captain Alexei Voronin, usually a symbol of unwavering discipline, had been reduced to a vigilant watchfulness, his gaze darting anxiously around the room. Sergeant Viktor Kuznetsov stood steadfast by his side his senses heightened to the mounting malevolence that seemed to seep through the very walls. TVT, Andrei Novikov's nightmarish ordeal on the first night had left an indelible scar on his psyche. The once eager young soldier now displayed a palpable terror in his wide-eyed stare. Dr. Natalia Ivanova, though shaken, attempted to maintain a semblance of scientific composure. But her hands trembled as she transcribed her notes, documenting the inexplicable occurrences. The room remained shrouded in unsettling silence, punctuated only by the mournful wind that howled outside, a chilling lament that reverberated through the facility. P.V. Anton Volkov, his youthful optimism, now a distant memory, voiced his escalating fear, his voice quivering with unease. Captain, this place is cursed. I can feel it in my bones. PVT, Yelena Romanova, her eyes locked on the wavering lantern flame, added with a voice fraught with dread. I agree. It's as if we've crossed into a realm untouched by reason, where malevolence has taken root. Captain Voronin's expression grew graver, his features etched with a seriousness that belied his usual stoicism. We can't continue to deny the truth. Something supernatural is unfolding here, something that defies the laws of science and reason. His admission hung heavily in the frigid air, a tacit acknowledgement of the unfathomable. Dr. Mikhail Petrov, though still grappling with the incomprehensible, offered a feeble attempt at rationalization there must be some scientific basis for these occurrences, Captain. We should approach this methodically. His words, meant to provide reassurance, crumbled in the face of escalating terror. The lantern, seemingly manipulated by forces beyond their understanding, flickered violently, 
Shadows danced on the walls in an erratic, unsettling manner, their movements devoid of any logic. TVT. Anton Volkov, now overtaken by fear, clutched his rifle as if it were his sole lifeline. Captain, we should flee this place while we still can. The silence that followed was disrupted by an abrupt drop in temperature. Frost crept over the windows, creating intricate frosty patterns that obscured the outside world. PV. Yelena Romanova's breath materialized as ghostly tendrils, her wide eyes reflecting the frigid terror that gripped her. Dr. Natalia Ivanova, whose unrelenting pursuit of the unexplained led them into this nightmarish abyss, could no longer deny the inexplicable nature of their circumstances. Captain, we have ventured into a realm where science falters. It's as if we've trespassed into a dimension where the laws of reality hold no sway. Just as their collective unease reached its zenith, an ominous tremor coursed through the facility, causing the lantern to swing wildly. The ground beneath them seemed to heave, as though some ancient force had been awakened by their intrusion. Sergeant Viktor Kuznetsov, a veteran of Siberia's harshest winters, felt his heart pound in his chest. He murmured, Captain, we're not alone here. Something ancient, something malevolent, stirs beneath the very earth. His words hung in the air, a chilling revelation that sent shivers down their spines. In that haunting moment, as the mournful wind outside continued its eerie lament, they realized that they had inadvertently stirred a malevolent force that had slumbered for centuries. The night, far from over, held horrors beyond imagination, and their journey into the unknown had only just begun its descent into terror. As the relentless Siberian winter raged on, the forsaken research facility became a bastion of chilling dread. The lantern's feeble flame cast an eerie glow, and the wavering shadows on the walls bore witness to the growing malevolence that gripped the team. Dr. Natalia Ivanova, a seeker of the unexplained, now found herself questioning the very essence of her scientific pursuits. Beside her, Dr. Mikhail Petrov, once the staunch skeptic, faced a relentless onslaught of phenomena that defied all rationality. Captain Alexei Voronin, usually an embodiment of unwavering discipline, had been reduced to a watchful vigilance, his eyes darting anxiously around the room. Sergeant Viktor Kuznetsov, steadfast by his side, seemed to have taken on an aura of grim determination ready to confront the mounting malevolence that seemed to ooze through the very walls. Tuviti, Andrei Novikov, his harrowing encounter on the first night etched into his very soul, displayed a terror that could not be concealed. Doctor, Natalia Ivanova, shaken to her core, tried to maintain a semblance of scientific composure, though her trembling hands betrayed her fear as she recorded her observations. The room was shrouded in an oppressive silence, pierced only by the mournful wind's haunting wail outside. Pivatan Volkov, his youthful optimism extinguished, voiced his escalating fear with quavering resolve. Captain, this place is cursed, and we should leave it. PVT. Yelena Romanova her gaze fixed on the lantern's flickering flame, added in a hushed tone, I concur. It's as if we've crossed into a dimension where reason no longer holds sway, where malevolence thrives. Captain Veronin's expression grew graver, his usually stern features now etched with a somber acknowledgement of the inexplicable. We can't deny the truth any longer. Something supernatural is at play here something beyond our comprehension and control. His words hung heavily in the frigid air, 
a tacit acceptance of the unfathomable. Dr. Mikhail Petrov, though still clinging to a vestige of scientific rationality, offered a feeble attempt at explanation. There must be some scientific basis for these occurrences, Captain. We should approach this methodically. His words, meant to provide reassurance, felt like frail defenses against the encroaching darkness. The lantern, seemingly manipulated by forces beyond their understanding, flickered with increasing intensity. Shadows danced upon the walls in erratic, unsettling patterns, their movements devoid of logic. TVT, Anton Volkov, now overtaken by fear, clutched his rifle as if it were his sole tether to reality. Captain, we must escape this place while we still can. Silence that followed was disrupted by an abrupt drop in temperature. Frost crept over the windows, creating intricate patterns that obscured the outside world. PVT, Yelena Romanova's breath materialized as ghostly tendrils, her wide eyes reflecting the frigid terror that enveloped her. Dr. Natalia Ivanova, whose relentless pursuit of the unexplained had led them into this nightmarish abyss, could no longer deny the inexplicable nature of their circumstances. Captain, we have ventured into a realm where science falters. It's as if we've trespassed into a dimension where the laws of reality hold no sway. Just as their collective unease reached its zenith, an ominous tremor coursed through the facility, causing the lantern to swing wildly. The ground beneath them seemed to heave, as though some ancient force had been stirred to life by their intrusion. Sergeant Victor Kuznetsov, a veteran of Siberia's harshest winters, felt his heart pound in his chest. He murmured with a grave tone, Captain, we're not alone here. Something ancient, something malevolent, stirs beneath the very earth. His words hung in the air, a chilling revelation that sent shivers down their spines. In that haunting moment, as the mournful wind outside continued its eerie lament, they realized that they had inadvertently awakened a malevolent force that had slumbered for centuries. The night, far from over, held horrors beyond imagination, and their journey into the unknown had only just begun its descent into terror. <laughs>